The Champions League is back and we have the champions not just of Europe but the world taking on Lille in uh, one of next week's showpiece games. We've also got another super English club in action next week. Look out for a huge game between Atletico Madrid and Manchester United, whose last chance of silverware this season is, of course, this competition. Massive game between two clubs who've had their struggles lately. And the other two games that we'll be bringing you across the Sony Sports Network in next week's appealing knockout round action from the Champions League are Villarreal against Juventus and Benfica against all right, we've got a new guest on the show. We are going to bring the fans onto the screen. Not just any fan, though. I'm welcoming Sashwat Mishra, who's the founder of the uh, 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 Pink City Blues from the beautiful uh, city of Jaipur uh, in India. It's lovely to see you. Of course, you're also a superstar in terms of your Drog Baba uh, YouTube channel, which I love, by the way. Who came up with that name? Was it you? Uh, actually, I was a Drogba fan ever since my childhood. I was a huge Drogba fan. And my nickname in school was Baba. So it was a culmination of both, of both the things. So Drog, Baba, Drogba, Baba, Drog Baba. So that's uh, about how this came, uh, how this name came up. And uh, before, uh, I would like to say an absolute pleasure and a privilege to be here. Uh, I want to thank Sony Sports Network for this opportunity. And uh, to share the screen with two absolute legends is an absolutely amazing feeling. And tomorrow is my marriage anniversary, by the way. So couldn't have, you know, oh. <laughs> wished for a better gift than this. Thank you so much. Very <laughs> Good. Uh, my very, my very best to the lucky lady. Right. Okay. And I can see that you've got your uh, uh, your, your decorations behind you, including a, a Chelsea blue ET. Talking about Chelsea, let's have a look at the uh, trophy cabinet right now because you must be a happy fan. Any Chelsea fan must be a happy fan because, as far as they are concerned, they win and they win and they win. They've got the lot, haven't they? So there we are. Let's have a look at when they last won these competitions. The FA Cup, most recently in 2018. Uh, the Premier League, or the top flight, first division in 2017. League Cup, uh, a year or two back from there. Community Shield, if you count that one, as a Super Cup back in 2009. Now, the Biggies, of course, they're the reigning Champions League winners. Their second Champions League. They won the Europa League in 2019. The Super Cup in 21. You've got to go a long way back to those other competitions. But at the bottom, the one they've just won, the Champions of the World. But the question is this. Are they the best team in the world? Now, Terry's had a go at this one already. Uh, Sasswa, I'm going to have you to just jump in, but a quick answer for me on this one. Are Chelsea, because of that, the best team in the world? Yes, definitely. According to me, we are the best team in the world. Why? Because we are the champions of the Europe. Recently, we have conquered the title of champions of the world. So. To get that title, we had to defeat English champions in the final last season. We had to, uh, you know, go over the Spanish champions. Atletico Madrid won the, uh, uh, actually won the La Liga last season time, uh, last season. And uh, this season also, we had to beat the Asian champions in the semifinals of the Club World Cup. Then we had to, you know, face the winners of Copa Libertadores uh, in the finals of the Club World Cup. I know there is a lot of recency bias uh, in football. You know, people only yeah. take into account what performances you have been you know how you have been performing recently on the pitch uh, we were mm. on the way to becoming that superpower uh, this season till you know Chilwell and Reese James got injured because uh, the demolition mm. of Juventus at Stamford <coughs> Bridge in the Champions League was an mm. evidence of that you know yeah. just brushing aside premium European visitors really showed you know what our strength was and this Thomas Tuchel system was you know built around wing backs and losing wing backs and you know the covid hit us really bad in the december then injuries none of us uh, none of our games got postponed uh, in that period of time so you know we were really uh, facing a setback because of that but i think uh, definitely uh, we are the best team in the world and we okay. get the job done be it the champions league or the club world cup you have laid out a very convincing argument. Let's see what people on social media are saying about this right now. We've already heard from Terry. We've heard from uh, you, Sashwat. Let's see what guys are saying on social. Let's start off with uh, Vido coming in with uh, Chelsea. Are truly the best team in the world, no doubt about that. And although they don't play exciting football like City and Liverpool, you say, they get results. There you go, when needed and win trophies. And I agree, it's, it's a bit like Real Madrid. They get the job done. And that's what it's all about there. Uh, right, so, okay. Let's just say they haven't clicked just yet. Most people would admit to that. Uh, official Chelsea Delhi. I think we're going to have something positive here. If our wing backs hadn't gotten injured, a bit like uh, you were saying, Sass, what this uh, would not have been asked. Our first 11, uh, Tuchel's capable of beating anyone consistently. Yeah, he demonstrated that when he came in. Uh, and, and I think maybe their defensive uh, lapses have also let them down a little bit lately. Uh, Chiquez is saying, uh, same question wasn't asked when uh, Liverpool and Bayern, when they won uh, Champions League, UEFA Super Cup and their Club World Cup. Oh, there we are. 
now, so I'm a little bit sensitive <laughs> there to any questions uh, impugning his uh, beloved Chelsea. Understandable. We'll ask about whether they get respect a little bit later on this show. Let's keep these tweets moving along. Callum, uh, we aren't the best in the world right now. Uh, no, but we were when we won it. Again, recency bias. Then it's difficult when you date a question such as this one. And I think we can go for another one here. Darren, uh, Chelsea aren't the best team in the world, in my opinion. Genuinely, uh, do think City will win the Champions League. I hope they beat Liverpool in the uh, semi-final. Well, of course, you can have all sorts of people with uh, comments on this. Uh, let's get to with the last one here. Chelsea not even close on the Champions League in a year when others were really suffering. Fortunate, goodness me. All right, we're going to call her from. Uh, we're going to call her called Anish coming in right now. Let's get uh, Anish in on the show. And uh, Anish, good to have you with us. Uh, let's fire away with the question, shall we? Yeah, uh, yes. Hello, sir. Uh, my question um, is that uh, can Chelsea, without its wing backs who are injured, can they challenge for the UCL title? Thank you. That's Anish from Ratnagiri, of course. So, Terry, why didn't you take this one? I know Chelsea have suffered a bit in terms of key players being unavailable to them, in particular James and, and Chilwell. But mm. without them, can they still challenge for the Champions League? I think they've got a chance, like everybody else has got a chance in the Champions League, John, to tell you the truth. You know, uh, you need a little bit of luck and all. I think uh, Thomas Tuchel's gone in there. Listen, he's done absolutely wonderful. Yeah, he's had bad injuries. Yeah, his wing backs have gone uh, and got themselves injured. Yeah, he, he might need to bring some in uh, next season. But it's all about this season. It's all about, about Chelsea. Chelsea, for me, they go under the radar. And I think that's the way Thomas Tuchel wants his team to go under the radar. Because it's all been talked about Man City and Liverpool. I think Chelsea are a fantastic side. They've got a chance like everybody else. If they can get Lukaku firing on all cylinders and scoring the goals, mm. he will frighten the living daylights out of any back four. They've got the quality in midfield. It's just them wide areas where they could struggle a little bit if teams get it tactically right against them. But they've got a chance yeah. like everybody else, John. Yeah, definitely. And a great coach, haven't they? Let's move on to another topic right now. And this is something that one of those tweets hinted at, which was perhaps a lack of respect. I mean, Terry's talked about Chelsea going under the radar. I think if you take a little look at Chelsea, if you go way back, and, and, and certainly when I was young watching them, I felt they didn't get a great deal of respect. They were a different club back then. Terry will tell you they were different. And then Abramovich came along. And what's interesting was he came with a certain amount of disrespect as well. People tarred him as somebody just being a, you know, a, a money bag. So since he came in, uh, 21 trophies won. That's the same as Manchester United in that time and it's five more than Manchester City with Arsenal trailing behind them in fourth place and Liverpool of course with just nine in that time. Let's fast forward to the latest big money to come into the Premier League and that was Sheikh Mansour at Manchester City. What about trophies since then? What's fascinating is that actually City lead the way but amongst those 16 you've got six League Cups they've made it their competition in recent times. We also count the Community Shield if you will it's a, an English Super Cup. Three times they've won that one. With Chelsea what's interesting is they're 14 in that time well they do include a couple of uh, champions leagues and they do include a, a europa league they haven't got as many premier leagues so what's interesting here sashwat is tell me this i i can't see any reason why chelsea wouldn't get respect but having worked in the game as long as i have i, I outlined a couple of things earlier on i also think during the john terry period there was a little bit of negativity towards chelsea for reasons beyond mm. what happens on the football pitch alone mm. so sashwat do you think chelsea don't get enough respect Yes, definitely. Because we have some, uh, we have won so much in so less time. So it, you know, tends to induce that jealousy among the rival fans. And not only Chelsea as a team, but Chelsea as an institution, as a club, should be respected. Because what we have done in the women's game since Emma Hayes has took over, absolutely magnificent. Oh. Look at what we have done with the academy. There are players, you know, left, right, and center. Uh, uh, being produced every season, every single season mm. by Chelsea's academy. Mm. You talk about Mason Mount, you talk about Reese James, you talk about players who have left the club like Tino Livramento, you talk about Tarek Lamptey, Fikayo Tomori, Connor Gallagher and uh, Armando Broja are absolutely balling right now with Crystal Palace and Southampton respectively. Yeah. So all these things, you know, create this institution, this 
whole body. I, I mean, and if you look at the net spend also, I think it's around uh, some uh, 350 to 400 million pounds, if I'm not wrong. Well, and, I, Saswal, you know, I think we can, well, let's dive in, yes. sorry to interrupt, let's dive into that net spend right now, because what you're saying yes. is this club is very well run, that they, that they develop mm -hmm. plays, they sell players well, mm -hmm. that their transfer dealings largely from Marina Granovskaya and, and, and mm -hmm. a panel have been successful. So so just hold a second there, Saswal. Terry, you come in here. Mm -hmm. I want to look at Chelsea's business. Do you see them as a very well run club financially? Because if we look at net spend, i.e., you know what, what it's costing them to achieve their success, it looks as if they do well compared with some of the other clubs. I think they've been absolutely brilliant, you know, and you, you look at the net spend there, but then you look at the trophies they've also won and all. Yeah, they do well in the transfer market. You know, when Frank Lampard was in there, I think he spent £230 million uh, on players. Then players are still there now. Yes, are they doing well? That's a... Uh, for us to see in the future. But for me, they're a well-run, organised club. They know where they're going. They know what they want to do. Uh, we've just mentioned about the academy there and the players they've got on loan. Yes, they will have to chop some of them uh, players down now because of the new rules and maybe bring some more money in. So that's working well for them. Yes, Chelsea is not just a club. It's an entity. You know, it's, a, it's about everything. Yep. And for me, think about... The European success they have had in recent years has been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Great answers, guys. I think we've got time for another uh, caller. Uh, this is Rohan calling in from uh, Mumbai. Let's hear from you, Rohan. What have we got to ask the guys? Hi, Rohan. You're, you're on. Hi, sir. Yeah. So my question is, uh, right now the way... Chelsea is playing as wonder, but do you think that the present team like Madrid or Man City, Liverpool, Ajax, the way these guys are doing such a hard pressing, increasing the numbers and technically they are very good in uh, forming the number of players and snatching the balls in the season press. So do you think that Chelsea will give the tough right fight to such a top team? OK, uh, just quickly, guys, we're tight for time. One quick answer. Uh, can Chelsea match the best teams right now? Talking about recency bias. That's what. Yes, definitely, because it's Champions League that we're talking about. I think that question pertains to the Champions League. Cup competition and cup games are very open. Uh, if we get past Lille, I think and we should do it by all measures. No disrespect to Lille by any, any means. But if we enter the quarterfinal of the Champions League, as Terry Sir said, each and every team has an equal chance of winning it. So why not? We can do it. All right. Um, Rohan, thank you very much for that question. It's, it's led me into an interesting line of, uh, of thought here. I'd just like to ask you this one, Terry. Is it tempting to look at Chelsea right now and say maybe they're a better cup team than they would be a league title winning side? Uh, we'll get into it. You've got to go back a ways, actually, to find their last Premier League title. In fact, they're on the biggest mm. drought if they don't win it this year since Roman Abramovich came in. That's all the way back to 16-17, which, of course, is for other clubs. It would be nothing, but for them, it's quite a lot. Um, so at Chelsea, Tuchel comes in. He gets the finals, he wins finals. Terry, would you say that they are as good a cup-winning team as you can have out there right now? John, at the end of the day, it's about winning trophies and what trophies you win. You know, the EPL is a very difficult trophy uh, to win. We look at the next net spend. We look at Manchester City, you know, the, the money they're spending. Is Pep Guardiola a uh, checkbook uh, manager? That's, that's, that's out there, isn't it, at this present time? But, uh, you know, Chelsea, for me... I do think in the next couple of years, they will win the EPL and they will be up there with the best of the teams. Do you know what they're doing? But at the end of the day, John, it's all about the European success and Chelsea have got that over Manchester City at this present time. All right, Terry, thank you so much for being with us. Great working with you, my friends. That's why it's been fantastic you. having you along. I love thank your you. enthusiasm. Thank you so much. love your knowledge for your football club. Keep up the great work and thank see you, you again soon. Okay, David's going to be back with us with another special guest after this break.